hello everybody, welcome to the losers bracket round kind of one, kind of two. Nobody really knows. We've got Wolfbark with Dio's face versus Dio with a normal logo. So this isn't confusing at all. <laughs> yeah, so this is a pretty horrible draw for Wolfbark. He could be out now, couldn't he? Because uh, Kemri is a rotten matchup for Chofs. In my yeah. experience, I don't know about you. Johnny well, Lee Booth is Throwek with his cabbage hello, face. Hello, hello. You can tell. Hello. Yep. Cabbage face. Throwek cabbage face. No relevance at all, apart from the first word that popped into my head on the last stream. Um, Ke yeah, Kemri. Uh, are... I always struggle with Kemri. Um, because the, the five strength five pieces are a pain in the ass at. Kind of low TV, yeah. Low TV, yeah. And this is quite a low TV, isn't it? Blitz pit. It's higher mm. than. It's obviously higher than a thousand, but it's it's pretty low overall. So. Rain is exaggerated, in my opinion, for Cameron. Um, like obviously, it's not great. But. The main problem they have, if you ask me. It's just like a rando base of the carrier, you know, and then they're in trouble. Like they're still yeah, fifty-five percent to pick up the ball, aren't they? It's fine. Broccoli head. <laughs> Call them safe words. Fuck's sake. Not the best I've heard, but a good one. I wouldn't call it good. <laughs> I think Purple Chest would get upset if I was tag team with anyone else. <laughs> He'd get jealous. He would. <laughs> you don't, you don't, honestly, you wouldn't like Purple Chest when it gets jealous. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. He'd put it like, how, you, how dare you get broccoli head? <laughs> <laughs> He would have peeled if he was an elf, yeah, but he would have failed if he was a human, right? Like, humans would have also failed there. Yeah, and dwarves. Not anything that isn't AG4, right? Yeah. That is a good point, Squirrel, yep. Yeah. yeah, that is a good point. <laughs> yeah, so so Wolfbark trying to go making a push here, yeah. Aggressive. Very aggressive. Uh, rounders, wasn't it? If you don't know the movie Rounders, then fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly. <laughs> I don't think I know the movie Rounders. Uh, it was well. Matt Damon playing poker. Oh I do know it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I was only joking, but it is, it is, a, it is a pretty good. <laughs> it was a pretty good film, yeah. <laughs> Bendo's seen it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. maybe Pepper. That Army of the Dead. Ooh, double score. Oh fuck me! I saw, I saw Army of the Dead on his trailers. And it's starring Dave Batista trying to hold in a yeah. sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It really is. <laughs> every, every shot he's just trying to hold in a sneeze. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm just fucking creasing up at that. <laughs> God, look, Dave, Dave Batista trying to act is one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> it's amazing. He's in trouble now, only that double skull. Dial seems to have been having. Oh god, there you go. Really bad luck of late. And. Yeah, oh, he won't be happy with that. Two dub skulls. <laughs> yeah, still. I mean, there's still really a path to the ball. Uh, he can. No, but he can. He can. He can make Certainly it uncomfortable. 
He can open up a path to the, uh, or can not now. If he powered, he could have hit the, uh, hit the thrower, couldn't he? Which is yeah. as good as opening up a path to the ball. Oh, hello. And yep, if he'd powered there, he would have opened up a path yeah. to the ball. Well, to the to the ball carrier. Yeah. Well, whatever this is called. Throra. Major adversity. Yeah, Dio must be celebrating, right? This is some this is some fantastic grade A diversity for Dio. He'll be loving this. A normal person. There are no such thing as dice. <laughs> yeah. A normal person would have this happen and they'd say, What a shitty game. What a shitty little kid's game this is. Pointless waste been, of time. I've been, I've been surfing around Twitch a little bit today. Happened upon Flicky having a meltdown. And <laughs> I, ju I just messaged him and was like, I just remembered why I love watching you play football. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or, or an old person could be saying, It's just not possible to enjoy this game. It just isn't. But instead, I will be like, this is fine. Love the adversity. You'd imagine Dio would be a big fan of the diversity of, you know, the eye torture of playing Blood Bowl 3, but he quickly, he quickly uninstalled and swore off that. <laughs> he blitzed and then ran out of time, didn't he? That was a blitz, and then he just ran out of time. I don't know if he was, his plan was to mark this Tomb Guardian to keep it away from the bulls. I think that would have been the move to do. Obviously, it wouldn't be nice yeah. just getting your guard mighty blood, but um, I think you would definitely want want this guy out of the action around the balls. Surf now, isn't there? There's a surf, big surf, big surf on, and mighty blow on the bull. Woo! Doesn't power the bloody bull. But it is a lovely surf. He can follow, can't he, and then put the assist in with the blitz right. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, Nigga. Yeah, it's pretty amazing for Dale, seeing it, looking at his own face. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, Chunter, fair enough. <laughs> I'm not sure he meant to put him there. Yeah, he's free to run around a bit now, isn't he? Well, I, th I don't because sometimes that happens. It happens to me a couple of times. You know when you just about to click and the camera angle shift? Yeah, yeah, that's super annoying, to be fair. Yeah, deleting was a good shout, I think, from, from Dior. Oh, a human would have failed. An elf would have failed there. There you go. Also, an elf would have had to have uh, blown through a team reroll to have failed in that situation as well. So, or in, they're, they're really or in, uh, in uh, BB2020, team reroll, mascot reroll, <laughs> pro, whatever, whatever else, re rerolls you can think of. Just to pick up the ball. Yeah. Match five would have succeeded. That's true. <sighs> Ooh, wow. That was an instant reroll from Wolfbark. Interesting. He must really have valued uh, getting these in, mustn't he? What was his plan? More frustration reroll? I guess he's got four, so maybe. I think frustration rear off. Maybe he's going to power him and stand him up and then blitz. Yeah, maybe. If you blitz got him down, time. then it frees up two more players, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so he's blitzing him with the, uh, with the hobble to try, and, to try and get this guy free. No. I mean, I think if it was me and I was the Chaos Lord, I think I'd just be backing away a little bit like you're doing. 
and uh, just trying to play it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunately, his push for the ball has disintegrated a bit just by. Yeah, but I mean, with this weather, you've got a decent, decent chance of stopping Kemri from scoring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Back to the Future, isn't it? I haven't seen Event Horizon. Oh, Event! You haven't seen Event Horizon? No. Is it any Absolutely. good? It's a banger of a film. I remember going to see that at the cinema, not knowing what I was going to see, because it looked like a science fiction movie. Right. Well, don't spoil it, please. Well, I won't. I won't. I won't. Okay. Thank but you. then, it's uh, it's. Well, the tag right, so because the tagline to it on the on the um, movie posters back in the day right. was basically it said Hellraiser in space. <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's not ruining it, but it gives you an idea of what, what you're to expect. Okay. It's good though. Good. Sam Neil. Okay. Absolutely loved it. I'm not sure what to think about Sam Neil being in it because that's just going to make me think. Every time he sees something, I'm just going to be thinking. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, Event Horizon. Never heard of it. I can't believe you haven't heard of that, Jimmy. Never heard it's of it. Oh, so God. It's so good. I might have to watch it tonight now. Did you watch Beyond the Mat? No. Oh. No time. No time like the present. Wait, well, can't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it now, no, exactly. This looks rough for Wolf Park now. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Although, you know, still got to get the ball. 1997. Yeah. How the fuck didn't I see it? Glorious year that was. He's rolled a one. Now the rain's a problem when you're not picking up with a when you're not picking up with a thrower, alright. I've got in my head now. Thanks, Jimmy. Appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Talking of which, I was, I was speaking to somebody else about Jurassic Park. You know when uh, cinemas opened a bit after the first lockdown? Yeah. And they were just doing old films. I took my kids to see uh, Jurassic Park at the cinema. Absolutely bloody brilliant at the cinema. I'd forgotten how good it was, you know, because of all the loud loudness and everything and the yeah. sound. Just amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Pandorium, never heard of that. Hello, Yuri Styles. Yeah, it's looking very rough now, isn't it? Like, like... Oh, yeah. Did he put a reroll in on that turn? No, he didn't. I think he probably should have done. And maybe he had already used a reroll for the team. No, he hadn't, because he had four and he used one on the dub scores, didn't he? Probably should have rerolled that, right? Yeah, I mean, why not? Maybe he's going to reroll the pickup on the blitz round next turn. It's, I think it's getting real, real tight to score now. Yes, Laura Dern being the sexy love interest. But, like, at least that's realistic for, like, Sam Neill, isn't it? Like, to be fair. Like, he's a nerd. And she's a nerd. It would have been, it, it's kind of better than like, you know, when you've got Leslie Nielsen and Anna Nicole Smith, haven't you? Which is the the standard kind of movie pairing, isn't it? <laughs> and yes, I know it was in a stupid comedy. <laughs> but but that's like pretty standard for Hollywood, isn't it? To put like some fucking 70-year-old bloke with some outrageous hottie. is like normal for movies. Which is like kind of fair, right? Because they don't have to be realistic. And would you rather look at Laura Dern or... Or, uh, you know, someone else. <laughs> Pretty much anybody else. <laughs> so, so, like, so it's fair enough. I can, I can see why they do that. <laughs> Is he going to pick the ball up this turn? 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> At least he's at least he's trying to get a scoring threat. No, he's not. He, he need, like he might have to hand off. Might need to win, which is even worse in the rain. I'll say a win to score. That's to say five me. Lovely hit here, isn't it? Hit the hit the stamp. Hit the show. Hands are in the rain. That's a lovely hit. Oh, the KO as well. That's the KO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does need to save five me. Oh, there comes in the apple. Nope. There we go. Oh, he's only going to fail it again. <laughs> now a human would have picked it up, finally. I think maybe he could have moved <laughs> someone first, but he hasn't. Yeah, I think Cam Camry's going to struggle here big time. Hmm. Big time. But this is the only time the rain has affected it. Um, out of all of the rolls, this is the only time the rain has actually affected the roll. Um, so, like, he's just had horrible pickup rolls overall. And now the rain is going. Um, just briefly talking about Blood Bowl 3, there is one positive aspect I saw today. Yeah. Ripper's back. Yeah, yeah, I saw that instantly. The first game that I played, I saw, I saw him and I was like, ooh, that's cool, isn't it? And yes, yeah, so that's then, like an exclusive it, reveal almost, isn't it? Yeah, and then I just forgot about that because it was just terrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now then, this is not a bad play here. Oh, oh, it's big. Good God Almighty, good God <laughs> Almighty. That <laughs> killed him. <laughs> No regen. That is big. It's it's massive. Oh, see, I know. I think I'd have, I'd have approached there. I think I'd have maybe tried to put some pressure up. Mm, but then you run the risk of like letting him into it, don't you? Three turns in the rain with Kemri. Because remember, it's not just the pickup, is it? It's the catch as well. No, but you run the risk of letting into it if you like. If you if you if you let your bull get hit by a uh, fucking block ninety. Yeah, true. Yeah. You know, like he's he's you've pretty much he's pretty much fucking now, isn't he? He's not going to score. It's very greedy to go for the score yourself. You could. You the could thing is, that's, that's exactly what I do. <laughs> Which is probably why I lose so much. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a reason. Yeah, Magnus. A Jim Ross comment like that would be a bit. Still got a chance. <laughs> He's still got a chance. He just needs him over here as a as a as a canoring threat. Right, it's gone a bit further forward. Fair enough. He is out of range of the uh, bull. Which, while, while I like keeping the bull safe, I didn't really like putting him over that far over the side. TBH. I was actually looking for somebody called TBH in the chat then, and then <laughs> it dawned on me. <laughs> 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 Like TBH, I know he's less like HTK. I know what can't see. Oh yeah, to be honest, got you. I'm not up. I'm not up with all this newfangled talk that you youngsters do. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> got it. It's only four GFIs. Let's fucking go. Yeah, got two of them. So now he's two GFIs away, and now he's he's looking all right, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough, I'm not fair enough. <laughs> so does Skuros because he hears TB and he's like, oh, what, 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 what? <laughs> Tom Brady. Oh, he's going for sure. <laughs> 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Damn. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it's all go now, isn't it? It really is. What a swing. What a swing. What a swing. Timmy Bantastic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> yeah, it's, all of a sudden this is looking really bad for Wolfpack again, isn't it? What what's what wild swings? I didn't like that he didn't put the bull central. Well, in, in I, I like that he was screened off, but I didn't like that he was. Uh, I didn't like that he wasn't central. I'll be honest with you. And I also quite like trying to. Tbh. Tbh. Yeah, yeah. Tbh. <laughs> um, I also quite like trying to base him. I like you know getting his way or whatever, but he didn't. And now he there's pretty good. I think. Well, yeah, I agree with you. DBF. <laughs> getting it. I'm getting the gist of this now. Got it. <laughs> oh, there's the there's the BT. <laughs> <laughs> the BC. Yep. <laughs> That's the P. <laughs> no GFI. No. The D moving on to the TG. <laughs> yeah, do say TG. Like, it's amazing how many things there are that are just initials, isn't it? It's got another GFI, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, well, well. This is really isn't looking that bad, is it? You can block him, and then if he gets the power, you can blitz him and, like, you know, go there for the kind of side bit. Get him up right behind him. In fact, the ball carrier can just double GFI right now and assist that block. A one GFI and hit the block. And then he's part of, like, a sideline cage, isn't he? But then you run the risk of the break tackle for the surf. Interesting. What will Dior do? He's got 30 seconds left to think about it. Come in. He does go for the sideliner. Gets the power. Boosh. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Cannot base this uh, this BC though, can he? You can. Oh yeah, you can, and then move this yeah. guy up for the screen. Yeah, okay. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then GFI the base. Line skeleton. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I don't know why I thought he needed one of them to blitz. Oh. Oh. That's pretty yeah, good, good, isn't it? You've got the S on the uh, BC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even block here, do you? Because it's too risky. To, uh, yeah. You leave him in B to B. <laughs> he does go for the push. I didn't really like this. I didn't really like this. I guess you can just not follow. Ooh, I don't like this. Do I not like this? Play now is dodge him out, stand there, block him, chain him, block him, power him, bull's free. Off you go, fucking score. I uh, will not score, surf. Same difference. Should have double based the ball. Sixty-four percent with flings is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> HMP helicoptering my penis, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be more effective. Oh, okay, you could just double GFI. You didn't even need to do that dodge. Yep. This was the play, wasn't it? 
It's an uphill though, so do you do the four plus to make it one? No, it just goes for the uphill, gets the double pals! Incredible. He needed them as well, the, the push would have made this just a 1D, but instead he gets 2D. Disgusterous. Absolutely disgusterous. Gets the power as well. I really did hate that block though from, from Dio, TBH. I called it, didn't I? I called it. You did, TBF. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Oh. oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for the sir. Done it. He got the dodge because it was a one. And he, he got now he's push. in trouble. Now Where? he's in trouble. Yeah. That bull is going for a burden. This bull. Is in tr oh, this bull's coming in though to sandwich him! Ho ho ho, baby! Oh my goodness. Oh, this lovely. Go. Lovely play. Lovely bull sandwich. Oh, and a dodge with the uh, dwarf there, just to finish off the ridiculousness of that turn. Yeah. You'd love to see it. Do you just straight uphill here? Theo will be sighing now. I think you just uphill. It's, it's such good odds against me. He'll be doing a flicky. And I think you shouldn't have moved this. Oh no, I think you just face. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think you uphill here and then block him and it's, it's G5. Oh, oh, Bull sandwich. You're a bull sandwich. What are you? <laughs> oh, he's going to do a 1D here to then get the 2D serve. Wait, is it 2D? Oh, it's a 2D here. Oh, oh okay. Well, that was much better from Dio. Then. That was much better from Dio. Oh, there's the double skulls. And now he's going to make two GFIs without a reroll. Oh, he's cast the ball off. Holy shit. Yeah, this is done for Wolfbark now. It's tough, isn't it? Very tough for Wolfbark. Sure, Doing hands in the ball goes. But can he make the GFIs? Are you going to be a Blood Bowl classic? Oh. Uh, well played, dear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Well, very nice. Yeah. Well played by both coaches, to be fair. Yes, yeah. yeah. That point. Yep. With TBF, sorry, TBF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after failing 10 pickups, yeah. And yeah, now it's look, again looking really bad for Wolf down two of his be best players, isn't it? Like the Bulls uh, obviously. There's CG that's dead as well, so. <laughs> Team Guardian that's face down in the dirt. That's true. Yeah, so I guess he's, I mean, he's, he's already dead. So is he just re dead? It's a good question. I don't really know how that. But I think it's the magic that animates them is being destroyed. I thought about it like. That's what I believe. I believe that's what it is. So he's like more deanimated, yeah. Um, now, of course, why can't? We... Yeah, why the coach can't just then raise them again after the match? I don't yeah. really know what. The... I'm not quite dead. <laughs> the Kemri's are different, right? Because Kemri's were woken up by Nagash. So Kemri's are a bit different. But if it was like a necromantic well, team. Everyone's born, everyone's born near Nagash, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's stressful. Is that why they called Nagash Nagash? Just because they want to get <laughs> Gash in the, into the game. Like, they had Maggie Thatcher, didn't they? The, for some reason, for the Orcs. Yeah. Oh, oh another pitch invasion. <laughs> Wolfbug loving pitch invasions right now. <laughs> Rowdy crowd at the Blitz pit. Mm. Rowdy.
fucking eyes hurting from Blood Bowl 3. What a horrible, horrible. Peter test. To be honest, to be honest, hang on, sorry, DBH, you've not mentioned that for a while, so I thought we were doing all right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But clearly not. <laughs> Wolfpack's gonna come back next Blitz Pit with 12 fan factor. <laughs> Why haven't you got any skills, Wolfpack? I couldn't take the risk again. <laughs> we did hard that, but it's my eyes hurting from it. In my head. Join Jimmy Fantastic on his stream tomorrow where he will be receiving professional counselling. Uh, getting over <laughs> his hate of Blood Bowl 3. Yeah. Not even hate, right? It's just disappointment. <laughs> yeah, it is, but disappointment leads to hate. Mm. I was arch dreadfully disappointed with it. Yeah. But yeah, the we... point today where I was literally shouting at my own screen going, Who am I hitting? <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a fun game with without that to be fair. <laughs> you know with all this fucking hate leads to fear and all this shit that's like Star Wars it's bullshit isn't it with a thing it leads to that right? I, I know oh, that I reference yeah, I haven't even tried to explain that but nobody would follow the fucking dark side if the force was real it's stupid there you go that's my uh, that's my assessment of that <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Which is okay. But I kind of hate how people like want it all to make sense and there's all this like extra lore about it. When it was just some something that some dude thought this will be a fun film. Do you know what I mean? And he like thought of some goofy characters. And then all these nerds of like, oh we've gotta have a ten billion books about it and a million films and a million comics and all this shit. And it's just some dude and his thought, let's have some goofy fucking blue dudes or whatever. I want to make a, I want to make a film about this thing, right, but one of the characters is a giant dog. Yeah. So that's all it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there's a, there's a really powerful thing in it. He's just like a little frog guy. <laughs> I'll tell you who I want to help me. The man who did the Muppets. Let's get him involved. <laughs> yeah, there's also a couple of smaller dogs living in tree houses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's All also right. stupid then. This idea of like the, the, the force... The uses like the, the 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 good side of the force or whatever is meant to be the balanced side in which case you wouldn't have to be like a fucking ascetic would you so it's fucking stupid looks like uh, Wolfbark. Wolfbark's getting hella rowdy rowdy as fuck yep yeah. gets a big removal he had to go for those slivers of equity and he found one there huge foul gets the cars it sticks two injuries two injuries in one turn brutal some good. Oh, I found a new button on my mouse. I mean, that was there. Mm. I click something. God. <laughs> Does Chewbacca have a human being or a massive dog wang thing? <laughs> Asking the real questions there, Adra. I mean, it's oh, obviously yeah. like a gigantic whatever it is, isn't it? <laughs> so, along, along with my wrestling celebrity <laughs> stories, I do have uh, a couple of stories about Warwick Davis. Oh, yeah. So I used to, because uh, he lives in Peterborough, and I, when I first started teaching, I taught in Peterborough, and I taught his nephew and niece. Mm. And he used to come and pick them up from school every now and again, so I'd uh, get a chance to say hello. But he used to, uh, he also compared 
uh, have you heard of a place called Stilton? No. Well, the Stilton cheese, right? Anyway, so near Peter, there's a little village called Stilton where my brother lives. Surely they have picked him up. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> They weren't, they weren't dwarfs as well. <laughs> um, Alp. It's not actually where the cheese comes from. It was where it was stored. Because it's just off the A1. Anyway, story. There is a village festival called... No, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's, uh, it was called... Still, still in cheese rolling festival, right? And he used to compare. And you have a team of four. And you roll a block of wood down a hill. And it's the first one to get to the bottom of the hill, right? There's anyway, no fucking we, hills up this end of the country, though, boy. What are you talking about? It's just a slope in it rather than a hill. It's a slope. It's a mild gradient. But anyway, 5%. our team was called the Four Skins of Edam. Right? <laughs> we got Warwick Davis to say four, four Skins of Edam over the mic to the whole village, which was hilarious. Anyway, not much I watched, um, actually, funny you mentioned this, like, on, I was on YouTube today, just, you know, minding my own business, scrolling around, you know what I mean? You look at your recommendation. I know it was Warwick Davis and his kid is a dwarf. Warwick Davis' kids are dwarfs, but his niece is okay. not. Oh, niece, niece uh, yeah, that would make sense. That would make yeah. sense. I was at Blackpool yeah. Pleasure Beach once and, he, once and he was there as well with all his bodyguards. And he, was he like, Oi, Frerick, me, how are you doing? Well, no, but he could only, he could only come on the kids' right. <laughs> That's funny. You can't be saying that, mate. No, but he could. Yeah, I mean, be that as, you know, maybe the actual truth, but you can't be saying that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's. I, I, it's one of those things, isn't it? It was one of those. Uh, it's SpongeBob SquarePants, right? It was great. Oh, Jesus so, Christ. You, know, you can only go on the teacups with an adult or something like that, do you know what I'm saying? That's just fucking fucked, man. You can't be saying that. <laughs> yes, you, I understand you're 30, sir, but you can't go on the teacups without a responsible adult. <laughs> It was it was height restrictions. Oh, dear. And he was in Willow, wasn't he? So he can go anywhere. He was, yeah. He can go anywhere yeah. he wants, mate. Fucking key to the fucking country. <laughs> I loved him in uh, Life's Too Short. I think that was fucking beautiful. Oh, that was hilarious. That was absolutely fucking beautiful. And I hope he lives his life like that. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a game in front of us. Um, Dio versus Roof Park. Wait, why is Dio playing? Isn't oh, this isn't qualified. This is a Blitz Pit proper. <laughs> yep. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Blitz Pit proper. You join us in the middle of Dionysian versus Roof Park. Confusingly, Roof Park is using Dionysian's pitcher, and Dio is just using a stock Blood Bowl two avatar, which you may find on Blood Bowl three. <laughs> So what have you been drinking this evening, Elp? Help me, in my humble opinion, one of the best um, commentators that I've You know you get those, like, sort of, you know what, the American homeless drink, the big Ooh. fucking... Martin Stonehurst stand. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, you just cider, you know, you get cider in the big fucking bowls. Yeah, you get, like, the scrumpy yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's it, that's exactly yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, the cloudy cider, innit? You yeah. get some sediment on the bottom. Love that. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah, I don't know the name of it or anything like that, but it was nice. White lightning, yeah. You know it. White lightning. I would know white lightning. Girl, oh, I've never drank white lightning. Tramp juice, never fucking touched it. I did when I was like 14 in the park. Oh, I bet you did. <laughs> what you need to do, as in, not, as in, As in the white lightning, not tramp stuff. <laughs> no, it's tramp juice. It's tramp juice. Yeah, tramp juice. It's tramp we don't juice. want to know what you did with tramp juice. <laughs> <laughs> you need to. You need to boost your microphone output. Me? Yeah, you, you're very quiet. I like to be quiet. Is this better? If I get close to the mic. So <laughs> I gotta just boost it a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's better. Yeah. It can't so be better yet because I haven't done anything. This is blitz pit proper. There we go. Is that better? Oh, that's so much better. There we go. He's trying to talk oh, through 12 Lottie? layers of cabbage. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
Do you want to close the window so I don't get moths? I fucking love moths. So you know what I mean? I... I'm, I'm, I don't know if you're talking to us up now or not. <laughs> hey, Frank, you must be like, you retired or you're still working, you're just not doing teaching? I'm not, no, I'm not that old. I'm not as old as PC. That's a fucking old as sin. <laughs> no, I'm not I, uh, saying it's so good old as sin. Because sin is as old as humanity, which is 200,000 years old. I did not retire. I do, I'm still on like a... Supply agencies, if I ever want to go back to it, with the whole I fucking shift into academies business. Well, no, I, I was a head teacher. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And I just, I'd, I'd had enough. I just the, the whole system. I'd, the nation's youth no, fucked. There's no teacher. It wasn't that. I really wanted to, like, yeah, do do a lot, but yeah, but just yeah. the the paperwork and the bureaucracy. I'm not a paperwork person, um, and I was just like, this isn't why I came into it and. I wasn't seeing my kids or anything like that, so just working all hours, and it just wasn't right, so I just left. I hear you. It's a big decision, like it wasn't wasn't easy. Yeah, it's a career for like my missus's parents are uh, um, teachers. I was gonna say they're children, but they're not. They teach children. <laughs> you see. And yeah, it's uh, yeah. yeah, it's a calling, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, I think I think I'd go back to it at some point. Just I'm I'm enjoying being a driving instructor. So. Oh shit! You're a driving instructor. What a um, fucking yeah. gamer. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty. So, do you do eye racing at all? <laughs> do you do, do gym old here? A thing or two. Uh, do uh, handbrake turns and donuts in the car park with teenagers. That's it. Yeah. We'll go and sit in McDonald's car parks of an evening. You know it, mate. Cheeky big man, because he did good on your lesson. <laughs> My uh, mate had that happen to me. He had a female driver instructor. I think that she wanted to get slaughtered. But I'm not certain. Um, <laughs> it happens. It does happen. It do yeah, I imagine it does happen. Because it's, is it regarded as the same position of trust as teaching is? Yes. You have to be an upright and proper citizen. Yeah, okay, yeah, you then you have to have a... Yeah. Um, DBS. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you just can't you can't bang your students, which is fun. Well, depends. Well, well, depends whether they say anything or not. I guess. Taxi drivers yeah. can bang the people that they're. Uh, yeah, but of. the t taxi drivers—you don't ever look at a taxi driver and think you're in a position to fire. You could teach me a few things. Well, it's just during a waste man, it couldn't get a job doing anything else. All due respect. <laughs> during lockdown, obviously, because I'm self-employed. As a driving instructor, I, I didn't get any government support, so I had to take on a, uh, I was a Tesco's delivery driver for a while. Nice. How, did that, how was that? I would tell you, it's straight up my most favourite job ever. I've worked a few different sort of fields, you know. My most favourite job ever was delivering pizza on the back of my head. So well, I, I love delivering the shopping yeah. to people, right? It was just a dead easy job. It was, you just get there and you get a heartwarming feeling like you're fulfilling their pantry. And they're yeah, very a little happy. bit. Yeah. But also, there's like so much <laughs> dirt goes on behind the scenes at Tesco's. Yeah, yeah. Like affairs <laughs> and people. Oh, really? like, just... Yeah, just filth. That's fucked. It's uh, I've got some great stories which I can't well, say, drop a, say drop on a story air. Here, you know, one minute turn stuff and ex exciting as I think it's <laughs> fucking Kemri versus Dwarves. Just. People, like a couple of my colleagues, meeting up in laybys in their Tesco's vans, having a bit of. Holy how's, that's how's your father nice. in the cab? Nice. Got I would call. never have thought about that until now. They got caught. Nice. Disciplinary. Disciplinary. Really pegging involved. Yeah. Wasn't just Joe, was it? <laughs> <laughs> just Joe. Mate, the balls to come on here and talk about your pegging story. I mean, fucking yeah, more power to the guy, but <laughs> if I were anybody in his agency, I'd be reporting him and being like, mate, this has been five years and this is cute. Because I personally, as help mate, did think <laughs> worse of firefighters once I heard that story. Ooh. Ooh, big KO. Massive not, KO. Not really a big KO. Giant, <laughs> nothing was really has, he, has he not named his fucking players? Rick Reckless. Rick Reckless. Ozzy Banger. Ozzy Banger. Cock. Cobb. Okay, these are named. These are named. So Was all players Steve? here are named. No. Badger. No. No. 
Wolf Bark hasn't named his players. What's up, colleague? Unless, like, Wolf Bark subscribers are called Bad Rack Smoky Hair. <laughs> oh, that's fucked. <laughs> it should be banned just on the basis of that. I mean, Dionysian's one nil ahead. We don't need to wipe out. Ooh, that's a reroll, isn't it? Should he have done that? He did. And that's all we can say. Who is it that's playing? Di yeah, Dio should have done it, yeah. To imply that you think that you could think better than Dyer is a massive implication. Should he have pushed him there, though? I just don't really know if he's following whatever. It's Dyer's fine, yeah. It's all right. Well, I think Dyer Barca, though, he stopped streaming, um, didn't he? I think Wolfbark's going to struggle here now. Yeah, this is tricky. But Wolfbark's pretty easy. good as well. And also, he can, he can let... He can give Dyer the turn to score back, can't he? He can just bang it in. Um, Roll it know, in. To Slot score. it in. Score. Is there overtime here? There is. How there much is money it. are they fighting for? Final prize, grand prize. One million dollars. One million dollars, ladies and gentlemen, on the line here. So Ruff Park wants to be thinking carefully about this time. Of course, yeah. It's not actually, uh, not actually for a million dollars, but there's some prize money. There is, there is a prize pool. Of one million dollars. Not yeah. one million dollars. One million dollars approximately I didn't say I didn't say pounds, what type it? of dollar. Yeah. Oh yeah, not US dollars, yeah, okay, fair enough. There's probably some kind of dollars. Oh Zimbabwe in dollars or something like that. But yeah. yeah. I know I feel as though that's sort of sort of subtle racism. <laughs> so you did mean American dollars. Well, I, hang on a minute, I didn't say anything about Zimbabwe dollars you said. I mean, yeah, I did. I did, you know. I mean, then, you know, I'm not going to back away from that. I did say that. <laughs> but I said that through the, through the headspace of being you in this context. Oh, okay. <laughs> it does mean you said it, yeah. Okay, just check it. That's fine, man. <laughs> so you didn't like Bud Blow 3? Oh, oh, I've only just got him off talking about it. Okay, yeah, we don't want to talk about it too much, but man, I, I, you know what I mean, I helped the gunner out, you know what I mean, drop that code, you know what I'm saying, and you didn't fucking like it. Right? Yeah. Oh, I hated it. Mate, it's fucked to think that I'm the most positive person about it, given my, uh, my, my demeanor. Johnny, Fave, yeah, you don't want that from me, believe me. You know, not even as a novelty like get your mates round and what are you doing? You're not gonna do it. I pitch this, you're testing your delivery man. You're knocking the door. <laughs> you open the door, but there's twenty fucking blokes there, all looking, watching, rating, and you've got to answer naked. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I think of VB3? I, to be honest, um I'm just not hopeful. I really wanna be. Mate, fuck off, they've achieved more than fumble will ever have with the whole fucking... I think they're on the right track. As fucked as it is now, I would be pissed I off if say I that. But, I mean, and it was early access. That, that, do you know what? You're right, Elb. That really is a fantastic effort that a professional computer games company has done better than one guy in his basement. That is really, really have, a, yeah. a, a, amazing. This is, this is what I was going to say. You've got to remember, Fumble's run by volunteers, and it's guys that code on their own in their spare time. They do it for free. They provide the service for free. Have you ever coded? Um, I did when I was about twelve on my Commodore sixty four, okay. and I got I got the word I got my name to appear repeatedly down the screen. Well, when you're doing something for fun and you're coding, you are putting your all into it. Especially yeah. when you're being paid. Especially. <laughs> Does help. <laughs> Does he base the ball here? He could, couldn't he? Could well, if come in, if the ball the is ball. base, it is GG, so Dio will be opting for that strategy. I think he might. I think he might go for basing the ball here. Because you've got two guys to, to, to you know, base the uh, troughs and stuff. But the, and the other thing about Pumble, the, the regardless of how it looks, staying in front. it's going to be more rules compliant than BB3 because of seasons and redrafting. It's just the whole redraft thing, yeah. Mm. No, I mean, no, I wasn't trying to shit on Chumble. It was a fumble. No, it was know, just I a bit know. of an aside, you know. A bit of a joke. Um, yeah, you know, blitz? it's... I, I think... 
Yeah, uh, ground workers there. The hacker. Yeah, someone did mention to me that the hacker was racist. I'm not sure if probably is the case, but I'm not sure. I liked it. Uh, the Ben. You know. The Ben. I just don't know. But then I just don't care about any of that sort of thing, do I? <laughs> so. So I'm looking here. I'm looking. Fresh, fresh eyes. I've got my eyes closed now. I'm opening them. I'm looking at Wolfbark's turn. Three turns to get to the end zone. I'm seeing some Kemri in front of me. And I'm thinking, do I just bang the guy down? Potato. Hope he fails, because Dio's only got one rewire. Yeah, I thought it was cool. But then... Yeah, York it the Orc doing the hacker. I don't know the um history behind a hacker. I think it, it's native, right? Native New Zealand. New so, Zealanders. Yeah. Maori, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. And they do it in the rugby, don't they? The all blacks. Which is you know, questionable they, name. They the make they, they make the sweets, don't they? Maori. Well that's Maori. That Maori, that's, that's too far Maori. Was that? Doing that? Yeah, that's, that's a bit, a bit of a no go. Well, that's the world we live in, isn't it? Party food. There's people who are desperate to fucking take offence about everything. So. I was going to say this. Well, the thing is, the really hacker isn't mean. from the fantasy world. The yeah, hacker is. The Pacific Islanders did it as a battle war dance to appear more threatening. Yeah. I mean, it, it comes from a time that comes before projectiles, doesn't it? If you're doing the hacker, because you stood there, everybody's in the line. Yeah. It's imposing, but it comes from a time before projectiles. Because you, know, you just drill an arrow through the forehead. And it's like you can, you can do it when there's projectiles, as long as you turn off their guns for 10 minutes. Yeah, that's it. So could you imagine being like in the fucking first days when it was musket warfare, and you stand there as an entire battalion, a hundred deep. And, he can't uh, take this reroll. He, he has it. done. Wow. It's Dio, of course he takes the reroll. He's fucking good, man. He's 1 0 up, right? He is 1 0 up, so he just, he's just got to score it. Did yeah, no one get my it's... reference? It was fucking, it was fucking uh, Hobbs and Shaw, in it, where they, where they like do like some kind of fucking hacker anyway. Wait, are you, are you referencing a Fast and a Furious spin off? Yeah, I am. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Yeah, oh, I thought when you said Hobbs and Shaw, I thought you meant like there's a cartoon. Isn't that something? Hobbs I thought and... you meant like there's a source. You What's know what I mean? Like fucking Hobbs and Shaw. Like, no. take on Hobbs and Shaw, source. man. They, they turn off their guns for 10 minutes so they can do a hacker. <laughs> hey, it's fuck. No, I think, I don't think I've ever seen a Fast and Furious film. Fast and Furious 1, Fast and Furious 2, you know I mean? You might have watched Oh, no, hang on. No, no, no. Tokyo Drift rings a bell. What's that? Is Tokyo. that number three? Um, 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 um. <laughs> Something like that. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift, yeah. I haven't seen when it. The, when the American goes, he's in Tokyo, and he doesn't quite fit in with the, with the locals, but he earns their respect through drifting. <laughs> Is that the dead one? What's his name? Yeah. Paul Walker. Yeah. Mate, Paul, you can't refer to Paul Walker as the dead one. Well, he is is the he dead? dead? That he is, is the dead one. Jimmy, can you sort this camera out, mate? I don't want to load the game. Thank you. Yeah, he, he is the dead one, isn't he? There's the dead one and the one that says family every five minutes. <laughs> Was that Beverly or family? Family. Family. <laughs> that's my, that's my, that's my Vin <laughs> Diesel impression. <laughs> family. It's my Vin <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> Vin Diesel was in one of my favourite films of all time. Mummy. No. <laughs> no. Triple bit X. Er, bit earlier than that. The, 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 I think the, it's the, probably his first film. Can't Boilery. see at night one. Yeah, Pitch Black. Pitch Black, yeah, that's the one. What happens in Pitch Black? Talk us. Talk us he, for it. Basically, he's got his, what's called his eyes shined. It's set okay. in, like, the future... Oh, and yeah. it means he can kind of see in the dark and they get stranded and these things fly out and try and eat them and he can see bats. them in the dark. It's pitch kind black. Of see, it's pitch black, but he can see them. Monster bats. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of storm, yeah. that storm, that kind of went on to a whole range of films then, didn't it? Because it was like Riddick and yeah. what, uh, Chronicles of Riddick. Oh, yes, yeah, it's... 
That rings a bell as what Yeah, what, Pitch Black was the original one. And then he did like Riddick years later. <laughs> the fucking can't see at night one. Yeah, well it's night and the other people can't see. <laughs> but he can. <laughs> yeah, really sounds like that was pretty that was I'm sure that was the pitch when they were making a movie. <laughs> we got there, didn't we? You got I, I knew right. by saying that you Imagine knew I knew this. what you meant. Yeah. This is the pitch, this is the pitch. Imagine this, right. <laughs> okay, right. So it's all dark. What do you mean like night time? Yeah, night time. Night time. <laughs> Okay, all right. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. So it's night time, right? I've got my eyes closed. I'm thinking it's night time. Okay, so here I am. I'm the big, strong, tough guy. Jacked. Vin Diesel's semi-jacked. Not massively jacked. It's the rockers, but yeah, still jacked. I can see, but they can't. <laughs> there we go, mate. Greenlit. Paramount Productions. Paramount. I am. Films. I'm sold. in. I'm in. In. I am in like sin. That's it. That's. Two million budget for production. Wow, that, that will pay for, that. like, Vin Diesel's tooth toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Two million. Oh, mate, nah, mate. He's buying fucking budget from Little Lily. <laughs> you got to love a drunk help, on you? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> is, he going, is he going for the dodge? He's got to, hasn't he? He's got to. He's got to go for the dodge one d because he can't even base. Oh, he can base with this guy. Okay, so he'll, he'll base with this guy. He'll try to base with this guy. And then he'll go for it. Yeah, no, he will it. not. Yeah, I, I didn't like using that last reel from Dio. I can see the point, right? Because he's, he's he's down four players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. got to think, I, if I don't stop I this. was surprised. Yeah, I, I was surprised. But looking back, like, if, if you were in his position, you'd think... Like, because you, when you're watching, you're not really in the game, are you? Um, no. For two minutes. So, so, like, we're talking all this shit, but he's down two Tomb Guardians... He's got a real good chance of stopping the score, so just just use the reroll now and use all your rerolls. And I, li I like using all of his rerolls in normal time. There's no point in equity if if you're not going to get there after overtime. Whereas if he'd stop this score, he wins one nil. There's no overtime in this one. And if he doesn't stop the score, he loses an overtime whether he receives or not. So yeah, I think he did exactly the right thing. Even if he had three rerolls now, he's still not going to win. So he did the right thing. Marky Mark. I'm not sure I've seen him acting anything, to be honest. Yeah, I think Boogie Nights would have been better with Vin Diesel. <laughs> Has Mark Wahlberg acted in anything? I don't know. It's the happy middle ground, you see. Oh, it's fucking 1 1. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what happens after this match? Jimmeled? Oh, Talk to the booth. probably collapse from board. Fucking Kemri. You are a true troll. Like, I mean, I think this is taking Kemri is on par with uh, using the Black Orc pitch in Blood Bowl, right? <laughs> There's old Frank Fur free there. It's nice to see his name about. Check. Previously <laughs> subbed for one month, but been following since April 5th, 2018. I think this is a man that doesn't appreciate the content, Joey. <laughs> hey, no, but I mean, in all seriousness, what happens after this match? Someone else plays a game. Okay. Tom Schniz tells us which one we're looking at. <laughs> Who's gifted? My man! <laughs> so, Dio's on the offense. No, it's turn 16. Ah, yeah. uh, can be one turn. Not really a thing, is it? No. So, what stream are you from, Frank? Uh, are you an Andy boy? <laughs> I think you are an Andy boy, aren't you? Yeah, the loser goes home. That's true, this is the loser's bracket help. So yeah, the loser of this match is out of the tournament and it's really looking bad for Dio, isn't it? Well, I mean, if the kick goes with Bark's way, yeah, he's fucking done. Even if Dio gets it, he's got like... Glorious. 
No, I won't Nine give in. So that's not that bad. Until bad. I'm victorious. Bro, I was that a random gift sub? I will defend. Yeah, I was just... Oh, yeah. Just a random oh, one. Thank you for the random gift sub, but you could have done a direct gift sub to your boy, help me. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you might have had one, because I just, you know... No, mate, I don't You, su know. you support him. I do support Jimmy in most of his endeavours. Not really. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I sub to you, Jimmy. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Oh, oh just a free one. He gives you a free one. I will defend. I will defend. That's, how much, that's how much he means to you. I will defend. I will defend until I'm victorious. Yeah. Help me and thank you for the one month, sorry, 15 month subscription of Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime every time. I'm saying. So, Al Alp, where's where's your name come from? Thanks, Alp and Troy. Oh, Alpine was taken because, um, okay, here's the story of my name. So, you may see me in Discord as Alpine. Yes, I have, yeah. Okay. Well, here's the thing. So, I used to play a lot of San Andreas roleplay. So, you think GTA 5 roleplay, but before yeah. GTA 5 roleplay is a thing. But due to my nature, I'd often find myself banned from communities. <laughs> <laughs> there was this. There was this you, you, there was this one computer. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. But, um... Was it Fumble? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not a blood bowler, man. It's like the fucking bottom of the list of things that I talk about myself about. Uh, all due respect to blood bowlers. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and, um... Yeah, no, so I got banned and banned and banned. You know, I played as, like, a uh, washing machine because, you know, it's the first thing that came to my head. You know, fucking... Washing machine. I'd get banned from this community and then one time, I don't know what year it was, a few years ago, I was playing and I found myself homeless, but I was in a hotel and the brand on the on the fan was Alpine. And I thought, I gave it a quick Google. I thought, oh yeah, this name will be fine, and then I used that name. Unfortunately that name was taken on Twitch. So help me. And it's stuck. Yeah, no, it's done. No, it's done. It's not so much stuck as is as you're in... named after a ceiling fan. It's the story. I am then. not a ceiling fan. No, no, desk fan. Desk fan. Oh, desk. They're like they're like. I mean, I've never seen that brand before, but they're pretty big in Europe, like continental Europe. If you search Alpine on, uh... I'm not going to do that. Okay, don't. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what it was, and then on Twitch it was taken. And uh, yeah. And that here was it. You are. There was nothing to it than I was ban evading in a community and uh Yeah. So what else what else do you stream out? Uh the only thing I get an audience for is Blood Bowl. <laughs> and even then it's fringe. Oh and the balls caught it. Sorry to divert from that conversation there. Oh no, that's okay, that's okay. The bull has caught it. That's GG, isn't it? Uh, no, you can free him. You can free him for one D. Yeah. I'm free for a two D. You can you can get a two D. Yeah, you can get a bang into a bang. I got a fucking my favorite my phones vibrating. WhatsApp. Yes, Tom Schneers. Yes, anything but chops, please. And dwarves. Oh, there's no dwarves in it, is there? Not chaffs next, please. <laughs> That's really cute, Lottie. That's really sweet, never mind. So anyway, I just got a message on WhatsApp. And it was a golden retriever stealing a golf ball as the owner was about to have his tee off. Brilliant. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was really fucking heartwarming. Ugh, you can only 1D, can't you? Yeah, so it's only got 1D on it because of the guard. Yeah, I was thinking he could 1D him out of the way, but then the the the, the bull's got guard, so he can't even do the yeah. 1D and make it a 2D. Yeah, the bull's a MA9, so... Yeah, I thought you might have noticed that, TB, TBH. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that was for it calling you a share, but... No, oh, he's going to hit him. No, he's in the bull. Oh! Ooh. I thought he was going to I just thought TBH. then... I just thought then he could have blitzed him, right? Pushed him, and then he could have uh, put another assist in and hit him with a blitz round. I think yeah, that's what he should have done. Fuck him, mate. Don't worry about it. Now that I've realised, that's what he should You're not calling Dio a shit, but that was the, like, the fucking shit line. That was terrible. 
Um, yeah, well, Olga's for sure Tom Schnees. He didn't really have much of an option, but that's game, innit? Yeah, it is pretty much game, yeah, because MA9, and I know that when you play Skaven, you need two chain pushers, and I see that boy being free over the line. Oh, he's not. That's yeah. game. He's not moving 9, though. He is MA9. No, no, he's Click not. him, click him, click him. Let's see his stats page. And he's moving at 7, see. He can't, he can't make it this turn. It's, it's MA9, boy. Oh, what the fuck? How come he can't make it? Because he's away. runners can go for it. You fucking... Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shit, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> that's on me, you know. I'll, I'll take full responsibility for that. That's, that's... <laughs> yeah, my bad. Hey, it's good. Kind of one is MA11, by the way. But he's <laughs> yes, MA9, good. by the way. Yeah, yes, my bad. Yes, a movement 11. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, sorry. I'm I'm the idiot in this case. <laughs> I hate gutter runners. What do you hate? Gutter runners. Why? Just I just they find them filthy. Yeah. Oh, you want pretty gutter, man? They're not gonna be clean, are they? <laughs> That's very true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, my bad on that because I was thinking MA9 by the way, because. <laughs> You may have followed my chore run, which is, you know, 51% win rate. Um, but I named all my balls MA9, by the way. Because they are movement 9. And, um, so I think in my head that means MA11. Obviously, as Jim pointed out, that's not the case. That's not the case. That's not the case. <laughs> Our Hunter 85. Thank you for the gift eater, throw it. No worries, our hunter. 85. Because you never know if like the 85 is significant to them or not. Like the, the year that their first marriage ended. I ain't sure <laughs> about those boomers, but yeah. Jimmy, I need to get hold of the uh, cabbage face image. <laughs> All right. If you've cabbage. got, if you've got it I'll somewhere. I'll send you it. I'll send you it. Thank you. Or slide into your DMs and I'll send you it. Because that is going to be my new Twitch symbol. Glorious. Dare I go on record as saying this isn't enough to prevent the score? Yes, you can. Would you say Dio's fucked it or just been a victim of dice? He's been uh, it's, even, it's even funnier when it's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> J5, you have like 1k IQ on my channel because you were a lad. Watch those adverts and drop me those uh, bits when I was new. <laughs> I'm going to do some streaming tomorrow. Glorious. Shameless up. You know, this is against terms of service, by the way. Self plugging on someone else's Twitch. <laughs> well, I haven't dropped my Twitch in, have I? What is it? Twitch.tv slash <laughs> It might be. <laughs> are you are you a midget? Uh, I might be. What's it to you? How tall are you? Five foot seven. Oh man, that's fine, man. I'm five eight. I'm mean, so big deal. It's well, uh, well, inches on inch, but inches on inch. Five foot seven in my heels. <laughs> yeah, Mate, Prince was like like five foot three or something stupid, wasn't he? Oh, I love him. Prince is a fucking gamer. I am. Um, I've got a Prince story as well. But you met Prince. I haven't met Prince, but I could have. Okay, but you've you've got a Prince story. Yeah. So, okay. uh, when he was doing his O2 Arena tour. Yeah. Well, not really a tour, was it? It was just at the O2 for however many nights. <laughs> Little tour, because <laughs> <'Cause> it's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Was... Carry on. Carry on. Sorry, anyway. Sorry. So, O2 ran a competition where you could win VIP tickets, where you'd go backstage and meet him. Yep. And I won them. <laughs> did you really? Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 you did. You, um, you told me you won them, so I won't ask that, yeah. I couldn't go because of the timing of it. Um, because of my job and whatever else. Yeah, well yeah, done. Yeah. Well, you probably well should have yeah, yeah, yeah. right there. Probably should just wait and return, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have even, waited. But, even yeah. Wolfbark was like, Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck is this shitty game of fucking blood bowls after an hour and a half? Mm. I mean, why is this game interrupting my pin tank, though? But carry on. Oh, no, that's it. And I couldn't go, so I had to give my tickets away. So I gave them to a friend who had 
VIP access yeah. um, to the bars in, in the O2 arena, went backstage, met Prince, photos, the lot. Yep. Free food, free drink yep. during the concert. And I couldn't go. And he kept sending me pictures and I wanted to kill him. Get fucked. <laughs> you should have gone, mate. Fuck that, mate. Fuck any career. Fuck. I mean, you're out of that career anyway, but fuck all of that shit. I know, but I had, uh, I was, I was a bit, a bit too honest with okay, back in mate, those days. Uh, Jimmy, let me have this. Yes, his residency. Right. Jimmy, Jimmy, let me have this. Okay, YouTube, that was the match of Blood Bowl. It was Dionysian versus Wolfbark. Sadly, Wolfbark lost. Uh, no, sorry. Dionysian lost. <laughs> it's 2 1 in advantage of the Chaos Dwarves, coached by Wolfbark. Um, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>